everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are doing the first of many Aether Revolt Kaladesh Draft Leagues. This one is an intermedi uh, intermediate Swiss Draft League. Uh, I guess they have competitive ones and friendly single game match Draft Leagues. I'm not exactly sure what all of those mean yet, but I went for intermediate Swiss because um, I didn't want to do single elimination right at the beginning of the format. So just to give you some perspective on how much experience I have in this format, you're actually going to watch the my first interaction with Ether Revolt. So uh, that's pretty exciting. If you're one of those players that loves to watch all my draft videos, you're going to kind of grow in the format alongside me. If you're someone who already knows a lot about the format, I recommend uh, sort of fast forwarding, uh, especially for watching this later, to the most up-to-date draft video I've posted because I'm sure my picks here I'm going to disagree with later as the format progresses. But for now, I need to learn, and uh, uh, I did do some set reviews, so I've at least looked at all the cards. But yes, I, I will tell you right now, my evaluations will almost assuredly not be the same now um, that they would be in just a few weeks. So just keep that in mind, and yes, I'm excited to do this new format. Thank you, everybody. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and like the videos. It helps us so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and here we go. All right, we're off. So we did open a Mythic. Let's see if it's worth anything. The beginning of a format's really important because prices are so skewed. So it's only a $1 Mythic, which means we can take something else. So let's see what we want to take. We have a Shock, which is currently looking like the best. We have this improvised draw three sorcery, which is good. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the Dreadnought just yet. Getting crew six is a little difficult, although we do have that cycle of auras that just turn it into a creature, which is kind of a cool deck idea. Here is the new Atog, or Atog, um, which I actually think is probably good. Ether Herder, not bad. Ether Poisoner, I think I actually like more uh, for the Death Touch. We've got this Leopard, 3-drop, 2-3. It gives you energy, and it attacks a 4-3 Trample. That's actually pretty good, too. I still think we want the Shock, though. Uh, I actually like the Infiltrator a lot, too. It's actually a relevant ability in this format with Thopters and Servos. Uh, improvising Hexproof Dude, probably just fine. The Eagle, same thing, pretty good. Um, Defiant Salvage, Salvager, not bad. Let's just take the Shock. Can't go wrong with a one drop, two damage to any target, right? All right, what do we have here? Merchant's Dock Hand. Um, I think this card actually is good. So it's a one drop, one two, which isn't great, but it's an artifact, and you can tap a bunch of artifacts, not including itself because it's a tap ability. Look at some cards, put one in your hand. So it's card advantage. Um, it's at worst if you have one other artifact you tap for and you get to draw a card, which is actually pretty good. Uh, other than that, let's see. The Harpooner, which I think is only okay. I do like that it kills tapped creatures, but it might be a little bit hard to use it the way you want it to. Uh, plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Okay, a little bit expensive, but certainly fine. I think the this guy's not bad either. I might just take the Dock Hand, try out the rare. I think this card is good. It certainly is a nice stalemate card to have. If you have any sort of stalled board state and you have open mana, you can just go to town. Um, I want to try out these implements too. You can just go to town drawing cards is what I meant to say. Um, some pretty good cards in here. We're going to take the rare though. I'm a little more interested in it. I think that mobile garrison is actually a pretty good vehicle too, to be honest. Okay, so what do we have here? Efficient construction, four mana. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, you get a thopter. A little bit too slow in my opinion. I don't think this card's going to be all that good. The automaton is a two drop uh, with a relevant ability. Um, not a great ability, but certainly a fine one. Precise Strike, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm fine running this. Uh, it's just not a very exciting pick here. The Revolutionary, you can sack an artifact and make it a 6-6 six, six that makes your opponent lose two life. That's not bad. The Hornet, uh, I actually think this card's probably pretty good. But, you, I mean, a 4-drop 2-3 Flyer is not fantastic, but the ability can certainly be good. I'm trying to think what I like the most here. Because none of these cards are really standing out as, like, super-powered. I may just want the Automaton. Um, even though it's not an exciting pick here, 
It kind of stays with my shock. Um, I guess I could have taken the Hinterland Drake, too. That does fly. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, I know this Monstrous Onslaught is very good. That is a strong removal spell. I like it much more than Death Dismissal. Um, I actually think the Gear Smasher is a good card. I like this. I feel like if you have enough artifacts, it's just a very quick clock. Um, but that being said, maybe fourth pick Monstrous Onslaught is just what I'm looking for. And you can also just splash the Merchant's Dock Hand ability and not feel bad about it. Yeah, I just feel like this card is very, very powerful. Maybe it's not as powerful as I think it is, but it really seems like it. I mean, you want some high-powered dudes to make it work. Um, it does have a requirement, and it's expensive, and it's a sorcery, but being able to divide it, I don't know. There's something about this card that makes me like it quite a bit. I think So we'll take it over the Gear Smasher, which I think would be the next closest pick for us. Um, you know, this card is actually, I think, better than it looks. Uh... Non-artifact spells you cast have Improvise. Yeah. What's cool about this is you can just use this to power out your other spells. Uh, granted, at, at Colorless, but that's fine. So we have Unbridled Growth, which is just a cantrip. Well, it's not really a cantrip, I guess. It sort of is, but sort of isn't. Uh, this is, though... Night Market Guard is okay. I think this card's actually pretty good, but it's a 5-drop. Wants you to be a little bit more energy-oriented. Hmm. Maybe we can go for sort of an exciting little multi... Uh, actually, the Brawler might have been good too. Hmm. I don't know. Siege Modification seems like a good card. Actually, a, a good aura. The Cavalry is good, isn't it? Yeah. 5-drop... 4-4 four, four, Trample, not bad. Potential 6-6 six, six, Trample, that's pretty good. Otherwise, we could take the Gear Smasher. The Sailback is fine. The Elite is fine. Yeah, actually, the Elite's pretty decent if you can comfortably get Revolt going. Hmm. So I think here we're looking at Gear Smasher, Cavalry, or Elite. My, my, sort of my gut is saying go for the Gear Smasher and try it out. See if you like it, but Cavalry seems like a card that could be really strong. Hmm. I'm going to go for the Gear Smasher. Just, I'm going to air towards cheaper. I'm going to try and go for just cheaper for now. I think this card's actually good. Is it worth the splash? That I, I may be a little bit unconvinced with. But we've got the Implement here, which I, I could take. Obviously, the ability is not that great, but two mana, one damage to a player, draw a card, or it can help you with your... Um. Well, I guess this draws cards, too. But it takes four mana to draw two cards, which isn't great. But I still think I'd probably prefer the blue one to the the red one, although it is a little bit expensive. And the Scuttler is whatever. Um, I think Refiner would be fine, but I think we're going to go with the Implement here. I'm going to try out the Implements and see what I think. Good synergy with our Gear Smasher, anyway. So, taken to custody is fine if we go deeper blue. Um, I kind of like the Tezzeret's Touch. Oh, yeah, the Invigorated Rampage is a very strong card, right? Yes. This card's very, very strong. It lets you push through a ton of damage. So, we'll take that over the Sailback and the Construct and the Taken to Custody. Okay, so we got the Atog back. We have an Aether Herder. Um, maybe we just want to focus more on an artifact deck. You know, it makes sense, especially if we end up in uh, blue-red. If we end up in green-red splash blue, that's fine, too. And I wanted to try out the Intruder. I think it's actually probably a fine card. Could take the Reverse Engineer, actually. Draw three cards if you can do it for... I mean, even with if you pay one less for it, four mana draw three is quite good. But I'm going to take the Intruder, I think. We're going to go for a little bit more of a... I really like the idea of Intruder with the Rampage. That seems good. So, okay. We can take the Dispersal Technician out here over the second Unbridled Growth. I've been kind of curious about this card. It's obviously not as good as, like, the Void Mage Separatist, which is, you know, along the same lines as this card. But um, I'm willing to try it out. Maybe bouncing an artifact would be good. We'll find out. 
So natural ab uh, ab obsolescence. Prize fighter construct. I feel like we'll be able to find five drops whenever. Um, I'm going to take the precise strike because I'm almost sure we're in red and I don't mind playing one of these. I think the implement would be actually fine there too. But uh, okay. Watchful automaton. Or actually, I guess we do leave in the dust. I wanted to try this card out. Four mana bounce draw seems pretty good actually. And all of these cards are playable, I think, but we'll take the leave in the dust. Okay. All right, I'll take the Reservoir Walker now, I think, over the imp the second implement. I kind of wanted to try this card out anyway, even though it is another five drop. Okay, taking to custody, second to last pick is very nice. So it seems as though red-blue artifacty things are, are the direction we can go. Well, maybe we do just want to go rug. Rishkar seems very good. Let's we'll see if it's worth anything. I, th I think I want to take it anyway. Well, it's it's worth close to five tickets, but I think I kind of just want to take it because it's a good card anyway. What are we passing that I care about? Uh, this card is playable, not super exciting. We have the counter spell. Um, in another invigorated rampage, although we got that very late last time. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take Rishkar. I think we're just going. Yeah, I think we're just going rug. I'm okay with that. This card is very good. Very very good. Just buff skies, certainly. And we'll, we'll probably wheel Unbridled Growth, which I wanted to try out anyway. Um, so yeah, let's let's go for a rug plan. This could be very good. So we've got the Infestation. I think this card's actually cool. I think it might actually be good. It's like a, a little bit of a stab. It's more expensive stab wound, but perhaps a little more potential upside. The Narnum Renegade is very good. And we're Once again, I think we can wheel Unbridled Growths. We have the Swooper, which is not bad. We don't have much of an energy plan yet. Like I said, I, I would prefer to focus on either energy or artifacts. And based on what we have, artifacts are sort of making a little more sense. Um, but once again, how am I feeling about this Gremlin infestation? You have to do it on an artifact, but it does it on your instep instead of their turn. It doesn't weaken the creature or artifact like uh, Stab Wound did, which I do think makes it a worse card. I could just try out this Narnum Renegade. I think this card is likely very good. And Monstrous Onslaught does not help you with Death Touch where Death Touch is concerned. I'm going to take the Renegade. Pia's Revolution, I think this is too much of a build around. Yeah. It's just not quite good enough. Chandra's Revolution, now, on the other hand, I think is quite good. Four mana, four damage, and tap a land. I think I like it more than Prey Upon for now. We have some... Mm, our bo we could use some better bodies for Prey Upon. It's going to make Monstrous Onslaught a lot worse, too. Uh, if we can't find some big bodies. I like Treasure Keeper, too. Oh, I'm sorry that I didn't have the preview pane up. I'm sorry, guys. My my bad. I completely forgot. Um, okay, so let's do Chandra's Revolution here. Um, shielded Ether Thief. Two mana, zero, four. Whenever blocks, you get energy, and you can pay three energy and draw a card. Not bad. Not bad. Here's a... A brawler. We could try out the Ether Thief. I may want to try out the Leopard too, but you can only attack once as a 4 3 really in our deck. Universal Solvent, I'm not super impressed with. And then Rebuke is probably fine. I feel like the Ether Thief is potentially pretty good, but it is just a 0 4 and. We don't have a ton of means to get energy yet. Although, like I said, we might be able to find some more. But then, once again, am I focusing on energy or artifacts? I'd prefer to focus on artifacts, which means maybe I should just take the rebuke and try it out. See what I think. I can. I'm going to try out the Ether Thief instead. I mean, we may just have to go for a little bit more energy than I would prefer. Uh, so Wrangle is, is probably not what we need. Rampage is fine. Um, I kind of want to take the Swooper now. It's got Evasion, and it can at least spit out a Servo. So it helps with our Artifact theme anyway. Okay. Let's just take the Swooper. 
works with our ether thief as well okay another swooper there's a herder ice over is okay another gear smasher crackdown construct okay another revolution hmm i'm probably just take the revolution four mana four damage is is good enough i think certainly good enough the ether seer four mana three two oh yeah this this card i think is actually good i think this card is good so i'm gonna take the ether seer i like this card actually this is cool okay so a little bit less of an artifact theme just because I think the energy cards that we're seeing are better. Um, which I still think is going to be fine for us, too. Ooh, that's the latest Druid of the Cowl I would ever expect to see. So, yeah, we're going to take that. This card is great. Ramp effect. So, taking that. All right, here's our Unbridled Growth. Take it over a second Precise Strike and the Implement and the Rebuke and the Shipwreck Moray. We want these Unbridled Growths. So I think we're going to... It feels like you can jam as many of these as you want since they can trip, right? So that actually seems fine to me. Okay, so now I have the choice of the red implement, another precise strike, tampering, which is playable. Actually, much better sideboard card. I think we'll just take the third on Bridal Growth, and then at that point I'm probably good on them. Okay, I can take the second Reservoir Walker here now that we actually have a couple energy cards more okay with that consulate turret i don't really like the card but a fourth unbridled growth does seem kind of unnecessary doesn't it? it just seems like it's pretty unlikely i would need that much pretty unlikely i'd need the turret too but i guess we'll take it uh the automaton is fine i'm going to take it over another five drop here all right natural obsolescence is probably main deckable okay so i mean we're in a pretty good place here we have a lot of we have a lot of good cards. Base green now, which is good. So base green, red, splash blue, which does seem fine, doesn't it? Rajmi, great open. Great open. There's a Virtuoso in here too, which I would love to play. And a Welding Sparks. There's just so many good cards, but I kind of just want to take the Mythic here. This card is very strong. You just get to draw cards, and we can easily splash it. So I'm going to take the Mythic. Over the Chief, over the Virtuoso, over the Theorist, the Attune, the Outrider, the Rhino, the Welding Sparks. I think we're going to easily wheel something that we want. Likely the Theorist or the Crane, both of which are fine for our deck. But let's go for Rajmi because it's a Mythic and it's good. We've got a cool little Rug deck starting to come together here. So we can take Shrewd Negotiation. I have enough artifacts where I could pretty easily trade, but maybe we just want the Prism. Prism is good. There's a Bowmap Bazaar Barge as well, but let's take the Prism. Prism is a very strong card and would help us splash even easier. So we just aren't going to be worried about our mana base at all. And maybe we wheel that Wild Wanderer, so that could be good too. So we already know we're like base green, red, splash blue. Just good information to have, basically. Um, we can take the Sentry here. More energy. We could take the Crane. Both of them are fairly unexciting on the Splash, but there's nothing else in here we really want. Take down for Sideboard, perhaps, but I'll take the Sentry. So we have a Malfunction, which is pretty hard removal. I think since we're a little bit... We're, we're actually quite a bit removal light, it might do that. But then again, we have the Arrow of Innovation, too. Do we have Artificers? I don't think we... I, I assume we don't have many, if, if any. Yeah, it doesn't look like we do. So we don't need to go for Era of Innovation. I mean, we have the Artifacts, I guess, that could give us the energy. But I kind of want the... Well, what do I have for removal, I guess? We have, like, a Shock, a Precise Strike, Taken to Custody if I want to play it, Invigorated Rampage, which isn't really a trick. We have the uh, Revolutions and then a Monstrous Onslaught. We probably actually have enough removal, or maybe I do want to just try the Era of Innovation here. The question is, do I have enough Artifacts... Hmm. We'll take it anyway. We'll consider it. 
So immediately rewarded with another, another malfunction. We can take the Puzzle Knot, the P-Foul. All of these cards are fine. The Ballista Charger, which is also fine. We don't have much fat in here, which kind of makes me want to take the Charger. It is just a big finisher. And uh, I figured we would find some 5 and 6 drop big finishers, but it may just be that we want the Charger. There's also the Salvating Gremlin. We have, you know, likely enough artifacts to make that work. But maybe I just want this Charger as our big finisher. I think the P-Foul is completely reasonable there, too. So Fireweaver, Fanatic, Grub, Appetite. I kind of want the Grub. It's got energy. It's a Good, efficient beater on its own. Fireweaver is good synergy card, but and Malfunction is fine removal, but we'll take the Grub. I, I just, I know from experience that the Grub is very good. Um, so we can take the Fireweaver now. Another Malfunction, geez. Uh, probably okay taking the Malfunction here. Over the Fire Weaver. Fire Weaver would be fine too. I'm going to take Malfunction though. So, Blossoming Defense is very good. Sage, Turtle. Both of these are good energy oriented cards, of which we have a bit. But I think Defense is just one of those cards that's just so good. You definitely want to take it and play it. It's just such an excellent combat trick. Well, we wield some good cards here. Probably want the Theorist. Maybe I just want the Attune. We already have triple Unbridled Growth and Prophetic Prism. I could easily play 16 lands, I think, with triple Unbridled Growth and a tune, though. And probably be fine, probably. That's just a million cards that... Because then I can dial back how many blue lands I need to play, probably. Theorist would be fine, too. I'm going to take the Attune. And we got the Wanderer. No need to go Assembler. Could take the Wayward Giant. Wayward Giant's a good 5-drop. I feel like we're probably good on 5-drops. Let's just take the Wanderer. Um, I guess we'll take the Hermit over the Terror. Demolish for sideboard. Puzzle Knot is certainly fine. Wind Drake is certainly fine. Okay. So we have a ton of playables here, which is good. And uh, I think, like I said, I think we can actually get away with 16 lands. The question is, do I want to, like... How badly do I want to do that? I kind of do just because we have so much good fixing. Um, we re like I said, we can be very blue light. I mean, honestly, we could probably just cut blue. I wonder if, if I just take blue out, how does my green red look? How, if I take out my blue other than Rajmi, how does my... How does the deck look? I guess that's a question. Maybe I just do not need... Maybe I just don't need blue. Because if I take out all the blue, other than Rajme, of course, what does that leave me with? Still leaves me with 31. So, yeah, it seems likely we just want to rock a green, red, splash blue for Rajme. Maybe splash for Era or Malfun Malfunction's hard removal. I could see doing it for that because it deals with big vehicles, too. Um, so then how many unbridled growths would I need plus prism and a tune? I probably would at most need, I probably wouldn't need more than an unbridled growth and a tune and a prism. That would, that's gotta be fine, right? Oh, cause I also have the merchant stock hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And the watchful automaton. So we've got some, some real mana sinks here. Um, I don't think this deck looks nuts. But it, it seems fine. I'm trying to think how we most often win. It's tough to say. Natural Obsolescence, I probably don't need to main deck. I like it a little bit. I, actually, I like it quite a bit less than Appetite because it doesn't actually deal with enchantments. I think that gives quite a bit of an edge to... Uh, uh, so I said during the draft that I don't really like the turret. I, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think we need it. Um, I still definitely think we can get away with 16 lands in this deck. It just seems so easily done. So do I like the Puzzle Knot or the Implement more? 
Uh, my card draw currently is Dock Hand and Rajmi, which is pretty good card advantage, actually. So maybe I'm just not worried about the implement, even though I do like implement and I want to try it. I, it honestly, I, maybe I don't even main deck the puzzle knot. Like, what's my artifact count to? I, I should be paying attention to that because it's going to make the intruder much worse. Um, let's see. I have one. Two, three, four, five. Um, let's see, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. Huh. I mean, eight's not. Eight's not a lot. Did I count the charger too? One, two, three. Um, four, five six seven eight yeah it seems like eight is the number so all right i guess we can cut like a precise strike now because i still think the rampage is probably better just giving some dudes trample and making them huge seems like it's it's a it's a good cost for that effect too especially with like an intruder if there's a turn where i can just make them a million getting it in extra four damage at least is very good and it, it also synergizes well with Death Touch. Um, something to keep in mind. So Onslaught seems worse in this deck just because we don't have a lot of fatties. So that could be a problem. Um, we, I mean, this deck suffers from the problem of I think it just does not have good... It doesn't have... The weird thing is we actually have good rares. Like, I think Rishkar and Rajmi... And the Dock Hand are all actually pretty good rares. The problem is we just do not have big-time finishers. Like, Chargers are big-time finisher. And other than that, we're, we're pretty much just at the the whim of, like, buffing our creatures and timing our removal right. So I think that can cause some problems. Getting some card advantage. We're hoping to win via maybe, like, an Automaton or a Gear Smasher or something, too. So, Yeah. It could cause some problems. We can cut this, and I think we're just going to cut one more card. Maybe, well, I don't really want to cut another artifact is the problem. I would prefer to keep all my artifacts to make Intruder at least playable, or Gear Smasher at least playable. I think these two cards are significantly worse in our deck than they should be. Um, I do have to cut one more card, and I just cannot come up with what it is. I don't really want to go to 13 creatures either. That doesn't seem like a fantastic idea. And if, like I said, if I cut another artifact, I'm, I'm starting to get pretty concerned. If I cut the Unbridled Growth, I would have an Attune and a Prism. And I could run maybe two islands. Oh, I would have an Attune, a Prism, and a Wild Wanderer. It's actually not bad. Kind of ended up in that awkward spot that I was talked about that I didn't want to end up in, where I'm a mix of an artifact and an energy deck, which is exactly what I didn't want it, what I didn't want. But I don't know what to tell you. It's it's just it's tough. It's tough to find artifacts that are playable when you're going for it, and it's tough to find energy cards when you're going for that. Sometimes you get this sort of ugly mix. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just sort of at a loss of what the last card to cut should be. Kind of feels like Unbridled Growth. Like I have enough fixing between Attune, Prism, and, and uh, Wild Wanderer, I would hope. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that. I'm hoping that we have enough fixing. So... Like I said, since we're so light in blue, I don't think it's a huge deal. In fact, we only have one card that actually requires blue. And and maybe I can actually, with 16 lands especially, just get away with one island. That might actually just be fine. Let's just do one island. They actually agree. And then they say 8 green, 7 red. Which I probably also agree with. We want the red on turn 2. So I think this deck's a little bit subpar, unfortunately. Uh, mostly just because... We don't have some powerhouse finishers. We're a little bit of an unhealthy mix of artifact plan with energy plan. And like I said, we, we've we got some good rares and mythics. We have some decent removal, but there's something just 
lacking in the flashiness department of this deck, but well, I guess we'll see how it goes. We've got some cool ways to mana sync, right? So we have ways to actually finish in the late game on a stalled board state, but I've got some concerns. Regardless, we're going to run it like this, so we'll see you round one.